Today, we're going to have a look at connecting external hardware drum machines with push. As long as your drum machine accepts MIDI control messages, you can use it together with push to play drums live using the 16 pads, step sequence beats and add swing to drum machines that don't have this feature, create custom drum rack kits combining live devices and hardware, Use automation on push to control drum machine parameters. For multiple output drum machines, you can even put live effects on individual sounds and directly access them from push. So let's see how you can connect your drum machine with push. Your drum machine receives MIDI via MIDI ports, so you'll need to plug that into the respective active MIDI port connected to your computer. This can be found on your audio interface, or you may have a separate USB to MIDI interface which you can use. Go to Preferences in Live to set up your drum machine's MIDI ports. Make sure to enable track and sync on your MIDI port output. Drum machines with their own internal sequencer may have to be set to slave mode so that they can MIDI sync to the tempo set in live. This can be tricky with some hardware devices, so please refer to the manual of your drum machine on how to set this up. The audio outputs of your drum machine will also have to be connected to your audio interface. Now create a MIDI track and load a drum rack from Live's browser. Using the external instrument device, you can route MIDI to your drum machine and receive its audio by using the respective choosers in the live device. Once the MIDI is set for one pad, we can use this external instrument device for the other drum rack pads. Press and hold the ALT button on your keyboard and drag this instance of the external instrument to the other drum rack pads. So here we have a drum rack set up with the pads for all of the drum sounds of our hardware drum machine. Now, to set up the audio, go into one of the pads and route the audio from your hardware drum machine into live. You only need to do this once when using a drum machine with a single mono or single stereo output. We'll get into a more complex multi-channel setup later. As a final step to play your drum machine from push, you will need to set up the drum rack so the MIDI notes of the drum rack pads in live correspond to the pads on push and trigger the sounds of your drum machine. To do this, we'll need to open the chain section of the drum rack and go to the input output section. Using the MIDI implementation chart of the drum machine, we can now map the correct MIDI notes that play the drums of the hardware to correspond with the drum rack pads so that you have a compact overview of your pads in one bank. Now we can save this drum rack to the user library for later use by clicking the Save icon and renaming the device. I'm going to call this one Volker Beats. I can now browse this preset directly from Push. You can create custom drum kits by loading empty drum rack pads alongside the pads you've already configured to control your external drum machine. Select an empty pad and by pressing the Browse button, you can access the Drum Hits category or other live devices from the push display. Alternatively, you can use the Hot Swap button Q on your keyboard and browse from your computer. If your drum machine has multiple outputs, Make sure that the individual outputs are correctly connected to the respective individual inputs of your audio interface and that those inputs are activated in Live's preferences under the Audio tab. You can route each individual output of your drum machine to a pad using the external instrument device. You can then add Live Effect devices to each individual pad. For example, if you want to have a reverb effect on your clap, you can simply select the pad, browse for an effect, and load it.
Max for Live also allows you to access other parameters of your drum machines using MIDI CC. We're going to use the 8CC Max for Live device to map the MIDI CC values of parameters of the Korg Volker Beats and then in turn map these to the macros of the drum rack. This device is available in the blog post or in the video descriptions directly below. Using the MIDI implementation chart of your drum machine, you can then set the dials of the 8CC device to the parameters you wish to control. By mapping these controls to the drum rack macros, you are then able to rename the macros and then save the entire device in the user library. Now we have the capability to automate or step automate these parameters of the Korg Volker Beats and control all of this from push.